Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a circular progress bar in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a circular progress bar in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, first I would like to add an ellipse object on top of the screen. So, go to Add Object. Select ellipse and now click on OK. Now mark your ellipse object on top of the screen like this. And now look inside the properties window. And you are going to find this coordinates section. And inside the coordinates section you will find these two options width and height. So currently the width of my ellipse object is 735. So you need to decrease the width of the ellipse object from 735 to 600. And currently the height of my ellipse object is 715. So once again you need to decrease the height of your ellipse object from 715 to 600. Alright. Now next what we are going to do is we will center align our ellipse object. So first click on this option which is horizontal align center. And now click on this option which is vertical align center. Now next look right above and you are going to find this option which says choosing ellipse style. So we have three different ellipse styles from which we can choose. So you need to select this particular ellipse style which is present at the center. Now look inside the ellipse object settings which is present inside the properties window. And inside the pen section you will find this color option where currently the color black is selected. So click on this three dots which is present on the extreme right of the color option. And the moment you click on this three dots this colors dialog will open up. Now let's select a different color. So let's say let me just select this particular color and now click on OK. Now right below the color option you will find this thickness option where currently the value is 1. So increase the value inside the thickness option from 1 to let's say 70 and now press enter on the keyboard. Alright. Now next what you need to do is you need to double click on your ellipse object and now go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the wipe transition is 1 second. So increase the duration of the wipe transition like this so that it covers the entire duration of your ellipse object in the timeline. Now look inside the wipe settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside the type option currently door is selected. So click on this drop down list and select clock. Inside mode currently bottom to top counterclockwise is selected. So click on this drop down list and select top to bottom clockwise. Inside directly currently false is selected. So Click on this drop down list and select true. Inside gradient length currently the value is 50%. So delete this value and instead of 50 you need to write 0 and then press enter on the keyboard. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So this is how things are looking right now on screen. All right. Okay. So let's go back to the main editing timeline. And next what we are going to do is we will add a counter. So make sure that your cursor is placed at the beginning in the timeline. And now go to add object. Go to text. And select counter. And now click on OK. Now mark your counter somewhere around the center of the screen like this and go to paragraph and select center and once again go to paragraph and then select center align and 
we will change the font so let me just change the font from Arial to Montserrat black and let's also increase the size from 36 pixels to somewhere around let's say 200 pixels all right now look inside the counter object settings which is present inside the properties window and inside the counter object settings you will find this pattern option present right here so click on this drop down list and you need to select this particular option which is show total seconds frames in seconds so select this option show total seconds frames in seconds all right and let's center align our counter as well so click on horizontal align center and then click on vertical align center all right and so now if i just quickly play the video for you from the start so this is how things are looking right now on screen all right so you can also play this in reverse so if you click on your counter object and if you look inside the counter object settings you will find this option called playing backwards where currently false is selected so click on this drop down list and select true and now the counter will play backwards perfect one final thing which i would like to do is i would like to add a fade in effect to my counter so double click on the counter object go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and now click on ok now currently the duration of the fade in effect is one second so decrease the duration of the fade in effect from one second to 266 milliseconds and that's it and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so this is how things are looking right now on screen let me also play this for you in preview so let me lower the resolution and let me play the video for you in preview so this is how you can create a circular progress bar in vscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching